Thanks. Um, another question that came through, uh, is see if you, if you can answer this, is I think you went through a little bit on your presentation, but uh, it was a question about how we calculate the random response uh, von Mises, RMS von Mises stress. Uh, do you have any insight on that? Yeah. Um, we do have a, uh, um, you know, a, uh, I think a, maybe a white paper that kind of outlines it more, but I, to kind of give it you a, uh, an overview is, um, you know, to be able to accurately extend to a, uh, um, to an accurate fatigue type of analysis, um, we do need a, to calculate um, a, a stress um, that is representative of, um, you know, the different stress components and really all the different uh, um, frequency contents. So what we do is we uh, we calculate a uh, a root mean square of von Mises stress, um, and I think what we do is uh, f um, firstly we calculate um, just in the uh, um, sinusoidal portion um, the uh, the different stresses that are uh, um, that that are resultant of that. Um, so we have the direct stresses, and then we have the uh, um, the von Mises stresses that is a combination of the different components. And then, so, so with that being our transfer function, um, we relate that uh, and run the full random vibe. Um, and then, so from there, what we get are uh, root mean square of von Mises stresses um, and an output PSD type of formulation. Um, and then I might have missed this one earlier, but to get from an output PSD type of output to a root mean square value, um, then what we do is we take the uh, um, the area under the curve of the output stress PSD, and then we uh, just take a square root of that. And that gives us, say, a single root mean square of von Mises stress value. Um, that should be representative of uh, all the frequency steps and all the, uh, um, all the different stress components. And, and that's the value that we really use for the fatigue portion of the analysis. Uh, 